Good morning. It's April 17th, and our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Feed the Right Dog Day. It comes from Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. And I say, walk in the Spirit, and you will not act out the desire of the flesh. For the flesh desires contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit contrary to the flesh. They oppose each other, so that you are not able to practice the things you want. But if you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under law. This is the sum total command for the Christian. Walk in the Spirit. If we learn to do this, we will not be walking in the flesh, so we will not be under law. It is a tightrope walk. If we slip off into the desires of the flesh, we are not being directed by the Spirit. If we slip off into legalism, keeping rules as the basis of our righteousness, we are not being directed by the Spirit. It is also a conflict within us. Romans 7 details the struggle. We Christians have a war going on within us between the desire of the flesh and the desire of the Spirit. It is a conflict the world does not understand because they don't have it. Every day of a Christian's life, including Paul, there is a struggle for dominance between the spirit and the flesh. It's like the Eskimo new convert answered when asked how his spiritual life was going. There are two togs fighting inside me. When asked which was winning, he said, The one I feed the most. Today is Feed the Right Dog Day. You will always have the battle inside you, so don't beat yourself up thinking that it would go away if you were a better Christian. Just feed the right dog today. Concentrate on being directed by the Spirit and ignore the flesh. Let's pray. Lord, you know the struggle inside me. You have felt that struggle in the garden. You sympathize with me, but you also know how I can conquer and submit to your Spirit. Guide me today into a Spirit-led life. If you agree with that prayer, say Amen. Your readings today are from Judges chapters 1 through 3 and Psalms chapter 130. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.